It is that time of the year where I tell you about all of the new electric car models that start deliveries in 2023, and this time there are 25 of them. Every year they get better and better, and this bunch is no different, and you'll see that in just a second. So let's get going right now. Ooh, welcome to E4 Electric. I am finishing this year in Texas. I am in Austin this week, Houston next week, and after that, uh, who knows? Well, I will be back to Las Vegas in the first week of January for the CES, as always. But let's talk about 25 new cars and trucks, all electric cars and trucks coming in 2023. And I'm not talking about the ones being unveiled or promised or teased in dark rooms. I'm talking about the ones that are scheduled to be produced and delivered to their first customers in 2023. Now, I am including a few EVs that have started very limited deliveries at the end of the 2022, but essentially the real delivery starred in 2023. And every year I make this video, this bunch goes further on a single charge, gets to charge faster, and has more cool tech toys, and this year is no exception. So let's get going in no particular order. Now first, let's get this one out of the way, because it has made my annual video like three years in a row and still has not gone in production. I'm talking about, of course the Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla now says that this is going in production in summer, but again, this is Tesla, so we don't really know. We don't even know the exact specs anymore, but it should have a range of around 500 miles, zero to 60 in about 2.9 seconds. And the biggest spec update is that it will have a one megawatt charging capability, just like the Tesla semi-truck, which is now in production. Speaking of the electric pickup trucks, Canoe is promising one as early as the first quarter of the year. Not many specs have been announced, but the expectation is that the range is going to be closer to 200 miles, zero to 60 in almost seven seconds. Honestly, I have never had high hopes for this brand for many years, but we don't really have to wait that much longer to see if I am right. Hopefully I am wrong and we get a new automaker and a new EV on the road. Audi is bringing another EV to the market to join their e-tron SUV, e-tron GT, and the Q4 e-tron meet the Audi Q8 e-tron SUV with a sportback version for those of you who feel sexy. Expect around 250 miles of range, zero to 60 in about six seconds, which is not anything to write home about, the charging speed will be flat out disappointing, but acceptable, and it should start at around $80,000. Now let's talk about Audi's big competitor, BMW. Now BMW was one of the first automakers to put out an EV on the market back in 2012 with the i3, which was a very subpar EV, and it wasn't until a decade later, in 2022, when they put out the BMW iX, which is actually a very good EV. And in 2023, BMW will start deliveries of two also very impressive EVs, if you can look beyond their, um, what I call a monkey butt front. BMW i7 will have over 300 miles of range, zero to 60 in respectable 4.5 seconds, up to 350 kilowatt DC fast charging capability with a starting price of around $120,000. And the BMW i5 will follow shortly after with around 318 miles of VPA range, but very few other specs have been released, it is most likely both models will come to Europe first. Now let's talk about GM. Now they've been bragging, they've been bragging about their big electric plants while having to stop the production of the Chevy Bolt with an embarrassing and painful recall and the rollout of the Hummer EV was very slow as well. However, with the Bolt issues mainly resolved and the new factory built, GM is ready to start deliveries of not one, 
not two, not three, but four EVs to customers in 2023. Before we dive into all of them, a quick reminder that this video is sponsored by Flow. Always reliable, extremely durable, the Flow Home is a level two EV charging station designed to make your life easier and is compatible with any EV in North America. Learn more about the Flow Home at flow.com or use the link in the description of this video. All right, let's talk about the four four EVs coming from GM in 2023. All right, the first one is the Chevy Blazer EV with over 300 miles, zero to 60 in four seconds and a starting price of around $45,000. Let's move on to the Chevy Equinox EV at around 300 miles in range, zero to 60 in six seconds. And the biggest thing about this car is the promised starting price of just $30,000. With the inflation, and the chip shortage problems, we don't really know if they're going to be able to pull it off, but it does seem like it will be one of the most affordable EVs on the market. Let's talk about the big one, the all-electric Silverado, which looks like will be beating all existing electric pickup trucks on the market in what I believe is the most important electric truck spec, the range at 400 miles. Starting at around $40,000, DC charging up to 350 kilowatts, and 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. This is a real chance for GM to make a real statement. In the fourth EV coming to the market in 2023 from GM is the Hummer EV SUV with very similar specs to its sister pickup version, including over 300 miles of range. Now, this EV was originally unveiled back in 2017 and the company has been on life support on and off ever since but it does seem like they're going to make it this time. I've been one of the few lucky journalists who actually got to drive it, and I do have to say it is impressive. The Faraday Future FF91. It looks like 2023 is the year, but you never know. With almost 400 miles of range and 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds, it will be a beast with a starting price tag of $180,000. Another very much long-awaited EV is from the brand that actually died once but came back to life right after. I'm talking about the Fisker Ocean. Outsourced to Magna, which is a good thing, this EV should be a well-built debut vehicle for Fisker starting at 37 and a half grand with around 350 miles of range and 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. The production has already started. This beauty is the Genesis GV70 EV over 220 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 4.2 and up to 350 kilowatt DC fast charging. It's already been sold in South Korea, but coming to the rest of the world in a few months. Let's move on to another EV from Hyundai. This time it is the Ioniq 6 with up to 340 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds and up to 350 kilowatt DC fast charging. The first edition sold out and get this, less than 24 hours. Now, this brand I wasn't taking very seriously until they've actually contracted the Foxconn to build their cars for them at the Lordstown factory, which they will. The Indy 1, with about 300 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds, at $45,000 starting price, but very underwhelming charging speeds. Well, We'll see how they do. This is the Kia EV9, a good-looking full-size SUV. It's supposed to come out in the second half of 2023, but with almost no specs released except for the expected 350 kilowatt charging capability, I'm not that sure. Now, if the first deliveries really do happen in 2023, they will most likely be in South Korea first, I will keep you guys posted. Oh look, another attempt by Toyota to offer an electric vehicle. Well, let's hope this one uh, keeps its wheels on. It is the Lexus RZ with underwhelming 220 miles of range, underwhelming charging of up to 150 kilowatts and not much else to impress. However, it being a Lexus, it probably won't have any trouble selling. Now, this one started as a school project and after many years of development, uh, the Solar EV Lightyear Zero 
formerly known as Lightyear 1, is finally going in production. It has over 300 miles of range with up to 43 miles added from the sun through their solar panels, 0 to 60 in 10 seconds, which is not that impressive. Now, this beauty is coming to the market at a quarter of a million euros, which is around a quarter of a million dollars. I am very excited to see this EV actually make it to the market, but the price is a bit of a head scratcher. After they've delivered the Lotus Evaya at the price tag of over $2 million, Lotus is coming out with a much more affordable Lotus Elettre at less than 100,000 euros, which is around $100,000. 373 miles of range, 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, and up to 350 kilowatts DC fast charging rate. All impressive specs, especially for that price. Another exotic brand, Maserati, is going to deliver not one, but two EVs in 2023. Maserati Gran Turismo Folgore Coupe, with 230 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds, and up to 300 kilowatts of DC charging capability, this one will start at $170,000. And the Maserati Gregale Folgore, this one is an SUV, it really has pretty much no specs that were released, which makes me wonder if it will be in my next year's video again. Now let's get to the Mercedes-Benz. Now not too many people know this, but Mercedes already has seven, that's right, seven all-electric models on the road around the world right now. This one is the EQE SUV with around 280 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 6.3 seconds, but relatively average charging speeds. It was featured in commercials for the upcoming Avatar movie, The Way of Water. You know, I was gonna redo the last take because I said water weirdly, but then I was like, you know what? I like it. That sounded sexy. Water. Another brand that was pretty much first to market with their EV back in 2010 but hasn't produced a new EV model until now, is Nissan. Nissan Aria has been unveiled in 2020 and had multiple delays finally coming to Japan and parts of Europe mid-2022, and now finally it's coming to the US in 2023. With over 300 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds, and a starting price of around $43,000, Aria is a good-looking SUV, which is way overdue. Polestar's third electric vehicle is coming and it's called Polestar 3, which does check out. It will have a range of up to 300 miles, 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds with a price tag of over $80,000 up to 250 kilowatts of DC fast charging speed, which is pretty decent. And look who is joining the party. It is a Rolls Royce with its very first EV, the all-electric Spectre. Around 265 miles of range and 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. The price hasn't been announced, but my secret internal sources are telling me, and I don't want to overwhelm you with some complicated accounting jargon, but it's going to be... A lot. And now we are coming to one of my favorite new brands and a very unlikely success story coming out of Vietnam. This is the very first brand that's going to stop making their gas cars and continue on with just electric cars. I'm talking about the VinFast and they are bringing not one but two all electric vehicles to the United States and Europe in 2023. The first one is the VF8 with around 250 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds, and a starting price of just under $60,000 with a battery leasing option which lowers the price significantly. Plus some really cool perks. The deliveries have already started in Vietnam and it is their second EV model there. I got to see the first one, the the E34 in person when I went to Vietnam earlier this year. And the VF9 with over 300 miles of range, 
0 to 60 in 3 seconds and at $76,900 starting price. And yes, it has third row seats to seat up to 7 passengers. That's it! These newbies along with all of the EVs that are already on the road today are growing a pretty impressive list of what only 10 years ago seemed like an outrageous and impossible proposition. Let me know which ones you have your eye on and we're gonna do this again next year. Looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.